As I sit here today, there are probably state troopers making their way to my offices. They may have contacted my family. They have initiated investigations to determine my whereabouts. The fight over voting rights in Texas has reached a new level of hostility. Democratic lawmakers bolted the state capitol this afternoon to prevent passage of a new election law. And they say they're prepared to stay away for weeks. When the Texas House uh, reconvened, it was noticed that they did not have a quorum. And so the Constitution says if you do not have two thirds of your members present, you cannot work. You can do two things. You can call it a day or you can make a motion to put a call on those absent members have them physically return to the chamber to conduct business. The Republicans left on the House floor voted to authorize the sergeant at arms to start executing paperwork and notifying the authorities to go out and find us. Texas is no longer the ruby red state that people thought it once was. Despite all the shenanigans and, and all the things that occurred in this last election, former President Trump won by five and a half points. Texas had a turnout rate of 62%. Something's going on, people are voting, and they're realizing that Republican majority is beginning to shrink and shrink and shrink. So if you can't change minds, you change the rules. That's exactly what's happening here. The Texas bill would mandate new ID requirements for voting by mail and ban drive-through voting sites and 24-hour voting. In Texas, we're not opposed to forms of identification. What, what we support is, is living in the real world, that people have expired identification, that people recognize in a pandemic, you just can't go to the DMV and get new documents. You know, we ought to be able to use utility bills and bank statements, real world documents to show folks that we are who we are. And as a matter of fact, when you look at, at how you can get an ID in Texas, some Texans have to make a 200 mile round trip to get to the one and only location to secure that precious ID in order to vote. We have to encourage voting. We need to say, you know what, we're gonna have one standard, and that's the American standard. That means if you live in this country and you're eligible to vote, you should be able to vote, and we're not gonna dictate you know, whether you have to vote under certain circumstances or whether you have to do it at night, during the day. We want our elections to matter. We are the vanguard for democracy in this world. But in our own backyard, we know that elections and are, are being sort of rewritten and voices are being silenced by those who want to take our voting rights away. And we need to stand up, we need to push back, we need to say no, we need to have fair voting, we need to have the For the People Act, and we need to have it now.